hi boys and girls welcome to my channel so today's video will be about my ex-boyfriend and i suspect that he was a narcissist but obviously i don't have the professional opinion to actually call him a narcissist but what i know is that he has 100 percent narcissistic traits and the way he treated me what happened in the relationship and I just found myself investigating stuff and I was just like why do I find myself investigating rather than actually being in the relationship enjoying it for what it is then I literally stumbled on loads of research about narcissism covert narcissists all that stuff and I was like wow what is this and I remember the time when it happened don't judge me but I was really high and the thing is I kind of got into smoke not kind of definitely got into smoking weed when I was with him and that's just a very good representation of how much of a bad influence he was in my life because before that I never really had alcohol I never really had weed I never really like had that much low self-esteem to just allow someone to treat me a certain way do you get it and then I feel like he was very necessary in my life in the sense that he taught me how to respect myself he taught me how to love myself what to expect and what not to expect in a relationship and then what to accept and what not to accept and then I'm going to do more videos on what exactly happened but what I'm going to share for now is that I literally found out he was a narcissist months ago and then I was in denial and then I kept doing more research and research and you know it's like a rabbit hole you just keep going and keep going and then eventually I was just like you know what I've had enough and then there was an incident that happened that caused me to walk away and never look back and I'm sorry if I'm not looking at the camera like directly it's just that I'm just a little bit anxious I don't know how to talk about it I don't know how to address it I'm all over the place obviously because I'm not like a professional youtuber yet so I don't know I just feel to let it out to people and just let people know that what you're going through is probably normal and what you went through is probably normal and if you think you're with a narcissist then you probably are because it's not an everyday word that you just hear down the street like oh he's a narcissist no you don't hear things like that every day so if you do come across things like that just know that there's a high chance that whoever you're with is 100 percent a narcissist and you have to get out it doesn't matter if you have children together it doesn't matter if I don't know you've got some kind of contract or whatever it is that ties you to that person you just need to find a way to get out because they're gonna drain the life out of you they're gonna tear you down they're literally gonna reduce you to nothing and then just leave you on top of that so either you leave now or they leave you later inevitably you think about it it's your life it's your decision the moment you what I've noticed as well in that relationship was that I try to express myself like do you know when something's bothering you and you try to express yourself like oh I feel like this isn't working out I feel this way could you just help me find out what's making me feel this way but then if you find if you have someone who makes you feel ridiculous or crazy or like you're oversensitive or ridiculous literally for even mentioning that then you know that that person's abusive because they can tell that you're sort of waking up to the reality of what they're doing to you but then as part of the whole agenda they're going to try to deny how you feel make sure that you put it away try to belittle how you feel and try to downplay it like look you're being ridiculous you're over exaggerating and probably even get really upset with you and angry like why would you bring that up just so you as the caring person can just think look i'll suffer in silence i won't tell you just so you're not upset because obviously i don't want to upset you and it sucks that you feel like you want 
the best for them but they don't want the best for you sort of thing so you just have to carry on being who you are and in being who you are you have to realize that you're not being validated in that relationship that's when you have to walk away there's no two ways about it there's no oh we can compromise we can get a therapist they're gonna go in there and play the therapist like they played you at the beginning so the only way is to just walk away it's easier said than done but the best thing about this is I know because I've been there so yeah I'm really sorry that this video is probably all over the place really choppy I just felt like I had to get it out and tell people and I will be posting more videos about it I just need a little bit of time to get my professional I wouldn't say professional but to film things properly and have the proper lighting and think about the context of the videos that I'm gonna be uploading but yeah thank you for watching I'm very traumatized at the moment but I'm just happy that this video will get to whoever it needs to get to there's loads of men and women out there going through this and it seems like it's getting worse as time goes by but we're all in it together even the ones that have actually escaped from the harsh reality of being with a narcissist you will get over it eventually you just the first step you need to do is just get out that's it literally that's it um that's it then guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye